They come and warn me when my enemies are speaking about me or they around. And they come to show me that they're all here with me because I'm leveling up and my medium skills are becoming stronger. These are some ancient ancestors embodying these, these beautiful, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and they come on the reg. <clears throat> I used to have 12 wallabies that would come and I'd hand feed them from down there. I'd throw the food down, I should say. And these wires, there used to be all these birds that they were sending, Indonesian birds, to spy on me that would fly right over here and I could feed them like this, just throw it. They've gone since they've been warned to fuck off. They're not welcome here. Um, yeah, so enjoy your feed ancestors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's ten white and one black. Wow. I wish you could see them better. I can't see them. Thank you for giving us a show. They heard me say that we can't see them. There's another black one down there. Oh, wow. Hello. <laughs> he just came and said hello up close. Sorry, I don't know who's who. I love you all the same. Maybe this is the Orishas. <laughs> yeah, I love you guys. Wow. One, two, three. Here they come. Another black and white one sweeping in. Give us a show, Uncle. There's another one. So now, losing. No, I can't see them all. They're all under there. It's been really interesting starting to actually research the different um stars that I've been on and the different characteristics and, and strengths that I have from those different interactions in my lifetimes with different alien races serious and Palladian being two of my main ones But I resonate with many and I communicate with many. It's Mount Warning. Mount Warning, yeah? A warning? This place will be gone after I go. It won't be the same. Energetically, physically, but that was their choice. This land here is heavy and it needs to be cleansed. My ancestors were murdered into this very soil. I am the ancestry line of the giantess that once lived here, that was murdered and the rest of her people were chased up into those mountains and murdered. And that is why I've been placed here amongst other reasons. To avenge all of that blood spilling of the indigenous peoples. Because duality is an illusion. And the indigenous people 
are the closest thing to Gaia. And that is why they are trying to wipe them out and have been wiping them out. And yet they will not be wiping out anymore. As we awaken and reclaim our power and understanding of who and what we are, we will not allow the mind control to separate us from our true self and others, i.e. mirrored self anymore. Everything is an embodiment of light, of consciousness, every creature, every humanoid, every being, whatever the soul, wherever the souls come from, but everybody, that's irrelevant, but everybody is still from source ultimately. We are still ultimately all from source, egoless, nameless, sexless, colourless, opinionless, hateless, and we, we're just free like that, we're free, we just free flow, that's our true nature, to free flow. I've posted an interesting um, video which there was a woman channeling about her visions of Sirius and it just made my heart sing to be honest because it was basically the vision that I have which is to create moneyless, loving, community minded um, communities um, that are not based in at all there is no money as such not in the same way currency is energy and however that manifests is unlimited so people that realize that they are unlimiting unlimited light which also then is the light that manifests everything that lives so we are literally unlimited manifestos embodied so when you can get past the MK Ultra brain control that this system has you in so that you do not feel free ever even in your free quote unquote time because you're always a slave to your mind because you have not got control of your own faculties you have released control by agreeing to certain contracts um, which even includes signing contracts like in the bank and all that with the legalese and stuff like you're literally signing over your souls every time we sign me included, um, but spirit also understands that we're transitioning and that we all are trying our best, but that once we have information, we need to expand with that information and try harder to detach from matrix because everything's shifting and this matrix is falling. And the more we pull back our energy from it, the quicker it can fall so that we can rebuild in a much healthier way. Thank you for coming and being with me this morning, ancestors, because this has been a difficult and is literally, very literally the road less traveled. Um, now I understand why that was the first book I ever picked up next to You Can Heal Yourself um, by Louise Hayes. But yeah, the road less traveled. It's actually the road that we all need to up. Uh, jump onto guys because it's the one that tests us and strength and brings us our trials and errors and and strengthens us so it might be easy on the flat road I might get there quicker but um unless you know how to um weather a few storms so, so to speak and cross a few hurdles and jump a few you know molehills then um yeah, you will find that um, the straight road leads to a loop, actually. And um, it's just an illusion that it's easy. When we hand over our power and we allow others to make the decisions in our lives, on all levels, um, I'm talking about the government here at this point, um, it's gotten to a point where the most corrupt of the society is running the society 
and um, we just allowed it to continue up until now because it feels too heavy to be integral and take it all on and um, stand up for anything. Um, they've created such density that it just feels too heavy to even get through your own personal day, let alone help save the world. But um, if you could just understand that when you free your own self in your own personal world, just that alone clicks an energetic um, trigger in the energetic vibration of the whole universe, which then starts um, responding to a different desire in the energy that's being s propelled out and then it will be returned with same elevated energy so we need to be not fearful to think out of the box we need to um, start accepting that we are just very the human race on earth is very infantile it has not been here that long and um, so instead of beating yourself up or feeling like anything that it's being said to you by myself or any other light worker or any other um, healer or guide is to patronize or judge you but it's at we and we're speaking to ourselves as we speak to you because we have also incarnated here into human form and lots of us had forgotten for many lifetimes why we even came here and we're stuck in the loop just as much as anyone else and we still continue to loop um, in different aspects of our lives as we ascend and this is why though as we have reflection and respection and um, yeah altered perspectives at a more speeded up rate than the general population this is why we are chosen to share messages and try to help elevate the whole collective we are not here to embarrass judge or humiliate but unfortunately if you have chosen to do things that have consequences that are attached to those feelings well then you have to also accept them instead of projecting out and try to gaslight other people and you know deter off the fact that the actions that you do have consequences and some of them are extreme and sometimes the explanations of those things that you've done is horrible and it doesn't sound nice to the ears but um so that's why we should reflect on what we choose to do so that we will always know that as people speak about us they'll only have nice things to say because there is nothing else to say so it's just all lessons everything's a blessing and um most of the ancestors are pretty busy eating now and very content down there and um, I feel like they've just come to hold space as I give this message. And um, the sun coming on me has felt beautiful. Thank you, Father Ra, for energizing me. I'm shutting my eyes as I speak and I can see the beautiful orange-red glow behind my eyelids. And the energy is just circling gently and buzzing with life force and... I'm just here to remind you all that you are literally a sun ray embodied with consciousness, so shine bright and um, bring your light and lighten all the dark places within yourself and then it can reverberate into the external world around us and we can all help each other out just by acknowledging that we're connected in this way and by taking responsibility individually we can help each other all externally communally love you all peace i'm out